hello we're finna do this again because <laughs> this dang earphone keep falling out my ear now um where did i left leave off i left off at the aces the aces played um the new york liberty the aces are in trouble <laughs> they're in trouble um Asia's trying to facilitate, defend, and score. And that's not going to work. A lot of the great teams had people, everybody played their position. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. Okay? Asia Wilson, in my opinion, does not need to be facilitating. To me... I don't know why they won't put Sidney Colson in the starting lineup. Um, I would also move Stokes to the bench and I would put, um, I forgot her name, Hayes. I would put Hayes at the four. Or I would put Kate Martin out there to help facilitate. But the problem is, their defense is also killing them. Their offense, they got back into the game. The Liberty were, were beating them. They were winning. And then the Aces got back in the game. They started leading. Kelsey Plum had a great game. Um, I won't say great. She had a good game. A game that will help you win. Um, she did good. She was hitting her shots. She was getting to her positions. She made the extra pass when needed. Jackie Young was balling. She was hitting her. She hit a couple threes, took it to the hole, scored. Asia was Asia. The problem is when Asia go to the bench, <laughs> they're not able to find any offense. Kate Martin is is solid, but she's not a person who's going to help you accumulate a lot of offense at times. Um the Liberty, um, Hamilton has been a dog all year. Hamilton and Thornton, they're probably their best defenders on the team because they can guard fives to the one. They can switch off because of their build. They're, they're very well built. So they're able to have, they able to get low center of gravity on the taller fives or fours and they're able to guard the small they have to, they got the feet and the lateral movement to stick with the quicker and smaller guards which they did a lot the liberty also had brianna stewart guarding um jackie young which i thought was smart because of her length because of her long wingspan she'll be able to switch off in case they do a pick and roll with asia or pick and roll with Stokes, she'll be able to switch off on those bigger um, guards. They basically hid Sabrina a lot on defense, but Sabrina could play defense too. She can guard probably the one to the threes. Um, and plus, Sabrina was getting inside the paint. She was scoring. She's not only a person that could facilitate. And this is what's, what's, what's funny is Brianna Stewart's running the offense. She's kind of doing what AT does with Connecticut. And um, Van Van Slu, I think that's her name. Van Slu, she's not there due to personal reasons, but she's usually the point guard. She would be what Ty Harris is to the Connecticut Sun. But the thing, like I was saying with Ty Harris, Ty Harris works off of AT, but Brianna, her and Sabrina, Sabrina could be a facilitator too. She could turn it off, but she can score at the same time. Sabrina's ability to score on all three levels this year has made her a tough player. This is why she's getting paid the big bucks. This is why she's one of the highest paid players in the W. Because she's able to attack. She's able to get to her spots. And she's very smart when she um when she makes the when, when she gets um when she makes the extra pass. Very smart. Down the stretch, Vegas made some Vegas couldn't stop JJ, John Quill Jones. They couldn't stop her. Um, she was killing them from outside the mid range. And John Quill Jones is basically a guard at the center, but she could play center. She reminds me of Joker. 
she plays just like Joker a lot. Only difference is there's really no difference. The only difference is she plays better defense <laughs> than the Joker does. Cause sometimes the Joker slacks on defense. She's very tough. And this is what's interesting. She does what the Joker can do. She can pass from the top of the key. She can also shoot the three from the top of the key. She can get in the post, pass out the post. She can make the extra pass. She was giving Asia Wilson problems. Um, Asia's thing is she's doing way too much. Um, I don't know if this is Becky having her do it or if, or if it's her choosing to do it. But the thing she has to do is she has to learn how to alleviate some of that pressure. Jackie Young, if that's going to be your facilitator, I'm cool with that. Because what Jackie Young does is Jackie Young can, can, can score on each level. Kelsey Plum isn't that good at doing that because she's a, she's a strictly two guard. She doesn't know how to switch up. But I think that they might have to put either Hayes or they might have to put Sidney Colson out there. I don't know why I think Sidney Colson, probably because she's not great on the defensive end, but she's she's decent enough to me because in that game they um played last. If it wasn't for her, they would have got blown out that game. And she brought him back. She was hitting threes like crazy. So but they have a big problem. Um, it's frustrating right now, but, you know, they, they got to make some moves. Um, they're having the same problems that the Sky are having still. The Sky, they don't have, <laughs> their guard play is just not good. Their person who plays the three just hasn't been solid. Um, Hayes has been decent defensively. Offensively, she's been okay. The same for the sky. You got Mabry or you got Diamond the Shield, you know. So the Aces need to make some moves. But the New York Liberty, I think they might be better. I think they might be slightly better than the Connecticut Sun. And the reason why is I think Brianna can I think she can guard um I think she can guard AT. I think she could. She's tough enough to play it. JJ, they and plus they already beat the Sun. <laughs> JJ is hard to deal with. So to me, the New York Liberty are the best team. They beat the Aces. They beat the Sun. They they beat the Lynx. I mean, <laughs> they have the most versatile team, and their bench is so is could could come in and switch up whenever it's time to. John, um, JJ go to the bench. They'll have somebody just step in and, and just handle her position. Thornton and Hamilton have been some enforcers and tough defensively, and they don't take no it. They don't care who you are, <laughs> and they both fine, <laughs> but they, they don't care. So they are very tough. They have the best team. Um, before the season, some people didn't have them as the best. After I saw them in the two preseason games, I said, I don't know. And even when the sky beat them, I really didn't really believe it. I thought J.J. got into foul trouble. John Quill, she got into foul trouble. But I knew she wasn't going to be in foul trouble for the whole year. So that was great what she did um she's just she's the x factor i mean her sabrina since van slew been out her sabrina and, and brianna have become a a triple threat um it's hard to go against them it's hard to um it's hard to match up with them because if you look at um if you look at the aces asia asia can match up with with jj but jj's kind of big kind of strong and she knows what she is now she she got footwork she could get underneath asia she can attack the basket she got great feet to be that big um somebody who i think needs to model their game after her is camilla i think camilla's gonna be more like that in a few years um angel to me needs to be like asia 
Um, I think she needs to be like Asia, play in the post and s gradually drift out to hit that shot. And she'll get there. I think people don't understand that Angel and the Sky are a young team. Now, the Liberty, they won. Like I said, they're the best team in the W. They're, they're the best defensive team and offensive team. And they're clutch down the stretch. Brianna Stewart is amazing. She gets to that mid range or that close shot, that fadeaway, that floater, that that excuse me, that ability to finish with the left or the right is second to none. So we got to tip our hat off to her, man. We got to. We got to show love to to what she's doing. Um. Brianna's doing her thing. Um, Sabrina's doing her thing. Sabrina's hitting those big shots. Um, she's just been clutch all year. Um, everybody's talking about Caitlyn. They need to talk about her. Sabrina is way better than Caitlyn. And she can hit the logo three anytime she wants. <laughs> so we get to the fever game. And this is what kills me. Y'all do everything in your power to continuously tear this girl down. Y'all are so bad trying to, how is this a rivalry and you got two teams that are bummy record wise? Both these teams ain't winning nothing this year. Um, both these teams have not looked good all year they've all been inconsistent yeah the fever won their last two but they're five or six games under 500 the sky are four or five games under 500 the WNBA is finna mess everything up like they always do they did their best to not only screw the sky they screwed the um seattle storm too so i'm gonna combine two games together and who they screwed they they screwed them um how does kennedy carter only go to the line once or twice and her thing is to attack the basket angel reese was getting calls in the first half then all of a sudden you give her three quick fouls in the third quarter but yet you're trying to make this a rivalry no, what you guys did was y'all were protecting the fever because Angel Reese was down low giving them problems, just like Camilla was. You guys were letting Aaliyah get away with a lot of illegal screens. Y'all letting Alyssa get away with throwing that forearm in. And Alyssa, <laughs> that's the thing. And Alyssa, lucky she ain't go against some chicks I grew up with playing basketball because she would have got hit in her throat a long time ago. <laughs> you should have you should have got chin checked a long time ago in the game like straight up but we know what it was you know the fever needed to look good but this is my thing cc fans hated on Aaliyah boston hated on the whole team hated on the coach now you guys celebrating because you won and everyone says it's cc no the reason the fever won is because y'all did what I told you to do. You ran the offense around Aaliyah Boston and Kelsey Mitchell. That's why you won. Those 23 points, those were front running points. Caitlin front run. She's the biggest front runner probably since lebron james they're basically the same player like when they're front running they're yeah they know how to play that role they know how to play that camera and all of you people are fooled you got all these trolls coming to a cc living rent free in your head no she's not i talk about the games because i watch the games did cc have a great game no she she had a okay game she had an okay game. It was a good game she had, but she didn't have a great game. She was getting away with forearms. She was flopping. Angel tried to go for the ball and hit her head. She played it perfectly on the floor. Christy Sides is playing into it because she knows her job's on the line. She don't have no choice. 
She's under pressure. And it's unfair, but that's just how the game works. CC won the game. That's cool. You know, y'all won. Nothing to give. And I'm, I'm happy that they, I'm happy that the Fever won because this goes to show you that CC has a team. So I don't want to hear no more that her team sucks. I don't want to hear no more Leah Boston ain't this. I don't want to hear no more Nalissa Smith and Dijon, Dijon um, what's her name? Dijon A. Carrington are trying to sabotage it. All of those fake hugs and fake laughs on the bench. I don't care all about that. That is called front running. They're front runners. Go back and watch the fever not too long ago before this last game. No, watch the last game because they benched Caitlin Clark. And you know why they benched her? Because she was playing terrible. But all of a sudden today she can go off. You know why she can go off? Because the Chicago Sky Guards are trash. I've been saying this all year. Their guard play is terrible. Not only that, CC was able to get away with pushing off. She used this off arm to push off. But when she goes against real experienced teams with good guards, she does not have the same effectiveness. She played within the system. She got the ball to Kelsey. Kelsey, shout out to Kelsey Mitchell. I'm a fan of hers. Fan of Aaliyah Boston. Nalissa Smith, love her too. I've been the only one defending these three all year, even through their losses. But no. Did everybody forget how Nalissa Smith was benched earlier this year? Because she couldn't play with CeCe? Does everybody forget that Nobody on the team was over here high-fiving CC doing all of this. But when you guys front run, it's a different story. And this is why I told y'all she is a good player. She's not a great one. She has not won anything until she starts winning, until she starts actually acclimating herself. Then I will give her props on that. But she's a front runner. When everything is going like it is, she's not pouting. She don't have her head down. She's actually engaged. She's hyped. She's doing all this clapping and playing that fake smile for the camera. But you dumbasses fall for it because y'all can't help yourselves but fall in love with soap opera shit. Y'all did the same thing with Larry Bird and Magic. Y'all did the same thing with Michael Jordan, bald-headed ass. Y'all did the same thing with the damn Kobe and Shaq bullshit when Shaq's a piece of shit, but we'll talk about that another time. You guys have always had a history of falling for the banana in the tailpipe. Then in the Seattle Storm and Phoenix game, the Storm, I mean, the, the Mercury were getting away with just elbowing and throwing Skylar Diggins all over the floor. They were getting away with hitting Jewel Lloyd, <laughs> getting away with pushing her down. Then as soon as the Seattle Storm got the game close, just like when the Chicago Sky, they were leading, that's when all this, all that start coming out. Then when the Storm got the game within six or four, you got whistles. <laughs> Look, man, if the WNBA, if y'all want to be like the NBA and play with this soap opera bullshit, Save it for something else. I don't care about the soap opera shit. I watch the goddamn games. The Fever won the game because Aaliyah Boston and Alyssa got the, um, they got Angel Reese in foul trouble. They got Cardoso in foul trouble, just like the Washington Mystics did. And they were able to run inside out game. Caitlin came up with 23. Kudos to Caitlin. She deserves to get it because she's been so poorly beaten. You know, she we got to cry for the little white girl. So she's been hurt so much. She's been knocked around, but yet she hasn't been injured. She hasn't been in a hospital. She hasn't been bleeding nowhere, but yet this girl is hurt. She's an actor. She's fake as hell. She's a front runner and she's a crybaby. Then you had, of course, Diana Taurasi on the other side and all of them going after Skylar Diggins, 
cheap shotting and doing all of this stuff. And Skylar Diggins almost pulled the game off if it wasn't for the damn refs and WNBA saving y'all asses. Like I said, the Phoenix crybabies. That's what they are. I don't respect the Phoenix team. I don't respect the Phoenix Mercury. I don't respect Diana Taurasi. Now, she's a great. She's a first ballot Hall of Famer. One of the greatest women to play, but she's a scumbag. She wants to be a man so bad, and she's an a-hole. Don't like her. Never liked it, her attitude. Never liked it, it. Her crying, her complaining, her talking to refs any kind of way. It rubs me the wrong way. It's like she she she's trying to be Kobe so bad, but you're not Kobe. Your game ain't nowhere near what Kobe's was. <laughs> like straight up. You know, and I'm not even trying to hate. I, I don't like that. Um Kalia Copper, I love her. Love my dog from Philly. Great player. I have no issue with Kalia Copper. Brandon Griner, <laughs> I have no problem with BG. You know, BG just plays the game the way that he, she could play it. <laughs> so, Natasha Cloud, you know, I don't care. I like her. I, I'll shoot my shot. I don't give a damn if she loves women. I'm going to shoot my shot at Natasha Cloud <laughs> when I see her. So, I'm not even going to front. Um, the Seattle Storm... They, they, like I said, they were getting blown out. They were getting pushed around. They were allowed to. But shout out to Jordan Horston. Jordan Horston is the reason why the Seattle Storm came back along with Skylar Diggins Smith. Skylar Diggins Smith should get a lot of credit. Nobody wants to give her credit is because she's the prissy, pretty girl. But she's a dog. She can play the point guard. Now, if she was in Chicago... That's who need to be in Chicago. She needs to be the guard for the sky. Her and Angel Reese would have that whole team in one accord. They'll be ready to fight and they'll play every game. Her and Kennedy Carter in the backcourt. I would love that. Um, Because Dana, I love Dana. Dana lets the refs get to her too much. Um, she shuts down, she, she gets upset, she loses her cool. Mabry, I don't know what's up with Mabry. Mabry thinks too much, thinks way too much. You know, she thinks way too much. Um, sometimes it's like, are you here? Or are you somewhere else? But she does make some big shots when it matters. Um, for the Phoenix Mercury, Kalia Copper and BG. That's all they got to do. You go to them two. Um, Diana Taurasi playing the third, sometimes the fourth wheel, depending on how Natasha Cloud's playing. But shout out to the Phoenix Mercury bench. Um, Matt, the looks like a man, but he but that, that but that's a woman. <laughs> Matt balled out. She came in, did her thing. Um, the other girl, I can't think of her name. I think it's number 21 or something. She did pretty good, too, defensively. Um, Jewel Lloyd just stunk up the joint. I don't know what's going on with Jewel Lloyd. Jewel Lloyd has not been the same the past three, four games. I guess when they announced the USA team, she has not been playing well. And I still think Arike should have made it. But it is what it is. Um, Jewel Lloyd played very sluggish. Um, Aneka, Aneka did pretty good. She started getting better down the stretch. At first, she wasn't that good. She was terrible. She was missing every goddamn thing. I'm like, damn, Aneka. The one who turned it around was Jordan Horston, um, and Elisa Magador. Magador was balling. Um, Magador need to get the ball more. They need to feature her more in the offense and, and Aneka. Jewel Lloyd, she got to take a back seat. <laughs> if she's off, go away from her. Because when she's off, she's off. Like Scholar, like Scholar would be off, but Scholar does other things. She plays defense. She facilitates. She could shoot when she wants to. She could get to her spots and get back in the game. She can attack the basket. Jewel Lloyd was attacking the basket. 
she was getting knocked on her head. She wasn't getting no calls. So what she should have done was they should have set up more for Skylar. Skylar early on was upset. Sometimes her temper does get the best of her. Because we know Phoenix was targeting her. She tried to set a screen. Kalia Copper just <laughs> ran her over. <laughs> ran her over like a... um. Like a defender going at the um, pulling guard. She just ran her over. Damn near knocked Skylar into the bench. <laughs> Skylar looking like, what's going on? Then she got bowed when she was defending Cloud and all of them. It's like, this is why I don't like Diana Taurasi, dog. <laughs> because Jordan, Jordan Horston, she knew what time it was. The white girl, number 32, she knew what time it was. Everybody else, man, I don't know if they don't, I don't know if they really rock with Skylar Diggins like that because they were just plain, plain Jane. Skylar Diggins had to go off hitting threes, getting steals. Her and Horston turned the whole game around. They basically gave up. It's like, and then Magador started balling near the end. So it's like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Then for the sky, they they just blew the whistle. They saved the fever down the stretch. They had a bunch of bad calls on Izzy Harrison. They said Izzy walked the first time she walked. The next two times she didn't. <laughs> that messed their possession up. Um, Lizzie was getting knocked all over the ground. She running through picks. She's getting tripped. She's getting hit by shoulders. Aaliyah Boston's letting her shoulder fly. Not in a perfect stance. Then she got her back to him, blocking them from getting around to get Caitlyn. That's a moving screen. That wasn't called. <clears throat> Nalissa Smith got away with throwing elbows and pushing. Angel was killing her down low, so she was doing everything she can to try to cheap shot and all of this. It's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> they like Nalissa did it. I think some. I think Quita said Nalissa did her thing. I'm like Nalissa ain't do shit. <laughs> we know what this is, okay? Like, look, if y'all want to stay blinded to go go land and everything's fair land, no. The Reds were terrible. They saved the fever again. We know what this is. Pain Angel Reese is a bad guy. Make Caitlyn look good now. Kaylin and the Fever ain't finna do shit the rest of the season. <laughs> they not finna do nothing the rest of the season. Especially her. The only way they're gonna do something the rest of the season if they put her ass as the fourth option. She's a fourth option. She's not the number one. She's not a good point guard. Kelsey Mitchell and Boston, the offense should run through them. And Alyssa Smith. You run it through them three, then she finds her way then she'll be able to put up the 20 points she want to put up because nobody's going to be concerned with her because the other three, the trivector is going to be killing it. Oh, yeah, shout out to the white girl, Samuelson. Samuelson was killing them. They had no answer for her. She was coming off the benches hitting threes like crazy. <laughs> and then that one girl, Hull, H-U-L-L, -L -L, man, get her ass off the team. She is trash. All she did all game was flop. She worse than Caitlin Clark. I at least give Caitlin Clark credit. She make it look better. This girl whole just. She just falling. I'm like, bitch, ain't nobody touch you. Get your ass up. <laughs> what is you doing? She, but she deserve an Academy Award. Because every time I looked up, she was falling everywhere. She was falling everywhere. I was about to go out there and just, just hand it to her. Here, you win. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? But Indiana won. Phoenix won. The Phoenix Crybabies won. The Indiana Floppers won. <laughs> like, it's like, now they, now they talking about this a robbery. It is not a robbery. Angel... 
and Caitlyn aren't a rivalry. Angel won in college. Did Caitlyn win? No. Caitlyn did beat her team in the Elite Eight. But did she win the championship? No. So Angel won. <laughs> Caitlyn, zero. Now, if Caitlyn wins a championship, let's say she win a championship in the WNBA. Let's say Angel win a, a championship. Let's say they play each other after they won championships or they're on that level where they meet in the playoffs. Then you can make it a rivalry. Stop trying to make it a rivalry because CC fans don't like Angel. Y'all just don't like Angel. Then y'all slapped all these fouls on Kennedy Carter. If Kennedy Carter was allowed to play like she was supposed to play, they would have dog walked y'all ass. Because don't nobody over there can hold Kennedy Carter. And Lizzie was Dean Mitchell and Dean Caitlin up, but she kept getting hit by these damn illegal screens. Aaliyah Boston and Alyssa Smith were setting all type of illegal, sc um, illegal screens. And if you think I'm lying, go back and watch it. Lizzie was attacking the basket. She getting hit on her head and thrown to the floor. They don't get no call. Kennedy Carter kept scoring, kept getting fouled, thrown on the floor. She only went to the free throw line, I believe, once or twice. Her play style, she only goes to the line once and twice. Angel Reese damn near is leading the league and getting to the foul line. She barely can get a call in the second half. It was ridiculous. Camilla got fouled and she wasn't getting no. It's like, what are we doing here? <laughs> You know, it, and it's like y'all trying to do so much to run a narrative. We don't need a narrative. Just play the game. If you play the game and actually let people play, cool. Y'all keep letting Caitlyn do this little elbow shit. Somebody going to break that damn arm and she going to be out for the rest of the season. I'm telling you, watch. She going to do that with the wrong person and they going to dislocate her shit. I would have been dislocated as shit. Soon as she got me wrapped up, like how she wrapped Dana up, I'd have twisted and broke her shit. That's what we were taught in basketball back in the day. Somebody do that. They put their arm up under you to try to make it look like a foul. You go like this and twist it real hard like a jerk where it almost pop out the socket. You do that in football, too. That's how I know these... These girls ain't never played no street ball before. <laughs> they ain't never played no real basketball. Because if somebody do that to you, you got to jerk and break, mess that arm up. That's what you got to do. And Alyssa Smith, too. Like, next time, Angel, Angel pushed her, which you don't push somebody. It's obvious. What Angel should have done was go up and then use this part of your elbow you see that part of the elbow boom hitting Alyssa right here in the back of the neck and Alyssa would have stopped that shit for the rest of the game trust me Charles Barkley a lot of the greats used to do that Kobe Mike all of them used to put that elbow to somebody back of their neck or to their back like they're going for a rebound and they go like this and then they put their arms up that's all you got to do and it'll look like an accident Trust me, Melissa would have stopped all that bullshit. <laughs> like, straight up. That's why I said, y'all ain't no real big men. The big men, especially the women, if this was Tina Thompson or your or, 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 or Yolanda Griffith, Melissa Smith would have been out the game in the second quarter. That All that shit would have stopped. You know, Angel just got to get stronger. Once Angel gets stronger, lifting weights and stuff, and then working on her shot more, she'll be all right. Her and Camilla are going to be fine. Um, Caitlin's going to be fine. Um, as, as long as they run the offense with Kelsey and Aaliyah Boston, the fever will be fine. Um, they'll be okay. Are they going to do something? No, they'll probably make the playoffs. Chicago Sky will probably miss. The fever will get in. They'll showcase Caitlin Clark. She's going to get her ass whooped in the first round, probably let her get one game at home, and 
it's over with. <laughs> and then we're back the next year. We ain't going to be thinking about Caitlin Clark. We just going to think about Paige. Paige going to come in and take all them fans. Flaw J going to come in and take a lot of fans. <laughs> so all this shit is just for this season, really. <laughs> Um, in the Seattle game, Seattle will be fine. Seattle will bounce back. Like I said, Jewel Lloyd is playing like shit. NECA playing like shit. She picked it up at the end. Magador to me, Skyler. And I think they ought to bring that Hortson chick in. Hortson needs to play. And they need to bench that on um, Vivian's. I think that's the last name. She need to go on the bench. Because Hortson came in there and changed everything. So Vivians need to go to the bench. I'm starting Hortson. Period. And that team will be fine. Um, the Phoenix Mercury, just give it to Griner and Copper. Move the hell out the way. <laughs> just move out the way. And um, their bench was good. Um, I love their bench. I loved how they played. You know, they did a they did a fantastic job. You know, they did a fantastic job. They did what they had to do. If they play like that, the Mercury would be dangerous. Do I think they get to a championship? I think they could. I think they could win it. Um, Diana Taurasi, if she continues playing the third or the fourth wheel, cool. But Diana can't be putting up 40 points or 30-some points because <laughs> that's not going to equate to a win. You know, they got to get Copper going. Down the stretch, Copper kind of faded. And this is my issue with Copper. Copper either have a big first half and then kind of sink off in the second half or she'll have a bad first half and, and power up in the second half. She's not consistent. And once she um once she stays consistent and, and does what she's supposed to do, man, Copper be straight. You know, I think Copper be all right. <laughs> you know, I think she'll be straight. Um, Cloud got to Cloud got to have more than three points. Cloud Cloud at least got to get about ten or eleven. But she did good defensively for a little bit. But she's a hot head. Natasha lose her head, her her cool too much. Um, the Chicago Sky they might need to have Angel Reese play more of a of a Alyssa Thomas role, Brianna Stewart. She mo she probably going to have to go back to what she was in um high school in Maryland. She's probably going to have to bring the ball up or she's going to have to get the ball at the elbow or at the elbow three or the top of the key and operate, run a give and go or, or, or get a ball to Camilla in the post and feed Camilla. Like everybody need to get a ball to Camilla. Angel just need to do what she do, get rebounds, rebounds, draw fouls, get a put back or play defense, get your steals, play defense on the best player, do your job, that's it. Um, but the Sky are terrible. Their guard play isn't that good. Um, but I like the lineup. Leave Lizzie and Kennedy in there. I just don't know about Mabry starting. Um, I don't think they have anybody else. They're going to have to go get somebody to play that three. Um, Diamond and Shields, I don't think, is healthy enough. I think she's hurt because she only played for a little bit. She never came back. I think that ankle is worse than what they're, they're saying. Um, the other girl, Agonle or whatever her name is, she's terrible. Um, Brianna Turner's terrible. They don't play Kaiser. So just, just get rid of these players and go get somebody else and keep who you have. Bring Dana and Mabry off the bench. Well, Mabry got to start because you don't have a three. But bring Dana off the bench like you did. Dana did good coming off the bench because that's what she is. She's a bench player. And um, I would um I would move on from Brianna Turner. I go get a real big. I go see if I can go get a big that's six five six six around that range. Have him come in. Give Camilla and, um, and Angel a blow. Um, Izzy's fine. Izzy can't be the five. Izzy gets killed when she's playing the five. So they try to move Angel to the five. Angel's cool, but they're they're targeting Angel right now. They're going to get her with ticky-tack fouls. 
which is bullshit. And I already talked about the fever. They just Aaliyah Boston, Kelsey Mitchell, run the offense through them two, you'll win. That's all you got to do. That's all the fever got to do. I don't know why they're trying to run this offense through Caitlin. Caitlin is is too sporadic. She's way too sporadic. This was her first game she actually did well, like actually had an efficient game because you know why? Because they didn't run the offense through her dumb ass. They ran it through Kelsey and they ran it through um, Aaliyah Boston. And who did their thing down the stretch? Kelsey, Aaliyah, and Alyssa. Caitlin threw in a couple threes that were front running threes because that's what she is. She's a front runner. That's how she's always been. She's front running Caitlin. That's a new name. She went from flopper to chopper to now front runner. <laughs> That's a new name, front running Caitlin. So the Aces, they they doesn't they get Chelsea Gray back cool, but they got to do some soul searching. Um, I think all of them expected to come back, and they were just gonna win. So that's how I look at it. Um, but no disses. Um, but yeah. I think the fever could make it, but I will watch out for the Mystics. The Mystics can catch everybody and make the playoffs. I think they can. Um, Ariel Atkins is a beast at the two. Aaliyah Edwards is just dominated. Like, whenever Sheena Austin come back and you mix her with Aaliyah, it's going to be trouble. <laughs> the Mystics going to whoop everybody. And that's why I'm saying the Mystics play everybody tough. But the Fever, do I think they'll do something? If they play through Boston and Mitchell, they will be fine. But if you're going to let Caitlin do all of this crap, Caitlin was getting her pocket picked left and right. They kept calling a bullshit foul. They protected her. So all you Caitlin Clark fans, throw your pom-poms up. You guys get to celebrate. ESPN's going to drag Angel like they always do. They always drag the black girl. They never drag the white girl. They never drag anybody white. Everybody got to be of another ethnicity to drag. We got to push this Caitlin Clark is the great white hope. Then you're going to have dumbass white people talking about there's no such thing as racism. It's reverse racism. Y'all just trying to find race in everything. It's funny how the majority always say that <laughs> when you're living comfortably in your house. So some of y'all are in trailer parks. Some of y'all are living in the woods. I don't know, but you can walk around happy all day because y'all are supported by a system. Us, we can't. Every time we get a glimmer of hope, we're celebrating. But y'all want to rain on that parade because this girl beat her in the national championship game. Y'all are still mad. So every victory y'all get, y'all celebrate that. But did she win? No. No, she didn't. So it's not a rivalry. It's not. So I, I disagree with Seth's talk. I mean, Seth's sports talk. She's a dope person to go listen to. That CESS, I disagree. It's not a rivalry. Now, if Camilla f went against Angel, if they were on different teams, that would be a rivalry. Because you know why? They won. <laughs> and one's from LSU, the other from South Carolina. That's why Angel Reese don't be caring. She'd be like, whatever, because this girl never won. How is it a rivalry? She's never won. It was the same thing y'all were saying about the Bulls and Pistons. The Bulls never won anything. And it was never a rivalry. The Pistons rivals were the Celtics and Philly and Atlanta because they played those guys all the time. They didn't start playing the Bulls until later. And that's when their team was about done and they were old. And they put this damn expansion draft in and took some of their players away. The Bulls rivals were probably like the New York Knicks because they played them all the time. <laughs> so what is y'all talking about? It's just, it's funny to me, dog. People, like, they try to compare, like, the Bird and the Jordan thing. I'm like, bruh, Jordan was just coming up. 
Like, what are you talking about? He was going against Hall of Fame teams. And I was arguing with this dumbass dude at my brother's birthday. He's dumb as hell. Cool dude, funny, but he's dumb when it comes to basketball. All these LeBron fans. LeBron has never went against no Hall of Fame teams, bro. Never. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Then he going to try to tell me the 1960-some Russell teams would have never beat LeBron's teams. I'm like, bro, are you crazy? Do you know it was like damn near like eight to ten Hall of Famers on that team? They would have destroyed <laughs> LeBron's teams. What are you talking about? This, this is what I'm saying. People don't know basketball. Just like these Caitlin Clark fans. Y'all don't know basketball. That's why nobody like y'all asses. Y'all just like Caitlyn because she's white and can shoot the three ball from the damn half court. Then y'all try to tell me, no, she could drive to the lane and she can get to the mid range. No, she can't. She drove to the lane. You know why she gets to the lane? Because she's throwing this off arm. Not only is she throwing this off arm, she's using these illegal screens that Aaliyah and the list are setting and she's getting to the damn hoop. I mean, it's smart because they're not calling it, but... It's illegal. Angel Reese and them, they're standing still. They're not throwing an elbow. They're not doing all of this. They may do it once in a while, but they're not doing it every play. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Pay attention. Um, the Seattle Storm, I got them. Okay, I got the um, I got the Liberty one. I got um. The Minnesota, I got the Connecticut Sun too. The men, no, I got the Minnesota Lynx too. I got the Connecticut Sun three, and I got the Seattle Storm four. Those are the top four teams. Um, the fifth best team, I don't think is a fifth best team. I think everybody's in that pot together. You could say the Aces, um, the Mercury finally got Brittany back, so you probably could say them. You know, um, the dream, I think the dream are right there. And then the thing you got everybody else. Um, the sparks are very underrated. They're young. Once they, once R Rakia needs to start demanding the ball. If Rakia demands the ball, the sparks would be tough. They'll be tough to beat. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. Um, and if you guys love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to the description box and hitting that link that takes you to the cash app. So you can um, donate, you can donate whatever your heart's desire. You know, you guys can also find me on Zelle. You guys can super chat. Um, you know, when the video's live or premiere, you guys can leave a super thanks as well. Um, you guys can also um, sign up for my Patreon. The Patreon's $3 a month. We're having fantasy football this year, guys. If y'all guys want to join, cash at me to $25 and um, send me your email to my email. My email is in the description box. So you guys can find me there, email me your stuff so I can send you the link to sign up so you can have your spot. It's $25, okay? Um, the Patreon is $3. Also, we got merchandise for sale. Welcome to HDII TV for sale. Um, it's, the link is in the description box. You can hit that link. It'll take you to the merchandise. You can buy it. We already got a couple people who bought some, so you guys can buy that. You know, we got the merchandise. You could buy a hat, shirt, I believe. I think it's shoes on there. I'm not sure yet. I got to ask my own brother. But um, make sure you guys get on that. The merchandise, you know, we got the new CD out. No more wax shit. You know what I'm saying? Just click on the page. It'll be the first video to pop up. It'll be an intro to the page where you can listen to it. Um, It's also it's also in the, in the playlist. It's called No More Wax Shit. And again, the Patreon, $3 a month. Go ahead and hop on that. You know? So, shout out to Carcino for Life. 
Um, shout out to Scrub Zero. Shout out to Jag Sports with Jose. Shout out to Who Did It This Time. Shout out to Leaf Diggy. Shout out to Lobo, L0B0. Um, shout out to um, Leaf Diggy. I think I sent him already to Mac Mizzle sh- Show. Strictly left. <laughs> Holla at him. Um, One True Emperor. Bear Theater. Make sure you guys sign up to their stuff. They play video games and they go against other people. Um, shout out to Jeff Bone the Bonehead. Shout out to MDT Sports. Um, who else? Shout out to Kingdom Cast, C Penn and them boys. They're gonna try to defend their um title from last year. So go check them out. They break down the Chiefs and all of that. Um, if y'all want to know more about the WNBA, go to Quita Love Sports. That's Quita Love Sports. You guys can also go to Cess sports talk those two women are doing their thing even though i disagree a lot of times with their takes but they're they're very informative so you guys ought to um, check that out um yeah i think that's it did i forget somebody i know i said who did it this time shout out to him i ain't seen him in a while i gotta check on my dog i gotta hit him up i think i said everybody um, sports talk and entertainment. Shout out to that brother. He he got his page going. He got it popping over there. Um, shout out to Xavier. Man, I know I'm missing somebody else. Well, that's all I got. I'm out. Deezy. <laughs>